Mambuhay! Isang makakalikasang araw po sa inyong lahat. Pasig River is your nation's lifeline and its importance lives on to this day as we strive to rehabilitate and sustainably develop the Pasig River system conducive for propagation of aquatic resource, transportation, and tourism. Consequently, the Pasig River was identified as one of the priority water bodies in the Philippine Development Plan 2017-2022 under Chapter 20, Ensuring Ecological Integrity, Clean and Healthy Environment. The PDP aims to provide a matatag, maginhawa at panatag na buhay for Filipinos by ensuring cleaner and healthier waterways and improved environmental quality. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, created the Pasig River Coordinating and Management Office to sustain the efforts and spearhead the Pasig River Rehabilitation Program. Having said that, I am honored to share with you the Pasig River Rehabilitation Program under the Department of Environment and Natural Resources through the Pasig River Coordinating and Management Office. The Pasig River Rehabilitation Program includes two main key programs, namely Water Quality and Waste Management, and Environmental Enforcement. For Water Quality and Waste Management, we have three main functions which are the following. Implement appropriate and sustainable waste and water quality management programs, projects, and activities. Explore and adopt water quality improvement strategies, interventions, and technologies that aim to improve the Pasig River and its environs and regularly monitor the water quality of the Pasig River and its tributaries through the conduct of water and sediment quality analysis together with partner agencies under the Pasig River Unified Monitoring Stations or PRUMS. Water quality data is an important tool in decision-making and policy formulation as well as to evaluate the efficacy of all the programs, projects, and activities we implement. The PRCMO also conducts inspection and saturation activities of commercial and industrial establishments to identify and abate pollution at source in partnership with the Laguna Lake Development Authority. In addition, the PRCMO also adopts water quality improvement technologies in selected esteros. On the other hand, functions for environmental enforcement include the following. Facilitate programs, projects, and activities in maintaining and sustaining the cleanliness of the Pasig River and its tributaries through regular cleanup activities, and provide policy improvements, recommendations, guidelines that aim to address solid waste-related issues and concerns in coordination with agencies and local government units and other stakeholders. The PRCMO deploys environmental aids known as river warriors and river patrols who retrieve solid waste and other obstructions from waterways within the Pasig River system. Regular cleanup operations are conducted in the Pasig River, including priority areas like Baseco, Parola, San Juan River, and minor tributaries or esteros. 19 developed linear parks within the Pasig River system are also maintained to ensure that established easements are maintained and waterways are free from obstruction, which may cause flooding, pollution, and health-related problems. Further, in response to the call of DNR Secretary Roy A. Simatu to promote and advance bamboo in the country, whose benefits is not limited to strengthening the stability of riverbanks, but at the same time promotes biodiversity, combats environmental problems such as climate change, and has economic potential and value, the PRCMO together with its partners, the Philippine Bamboo Industry Development Council, the DNR National Capital Region, and the DNR Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, launched the Pasig River Bamboo Rehabilitation and Beautification Project. The project aims to plant bamboo in identified PRCMO sites with the vision of creating a bamboo esplanade project along the Pasig River as future ecotourism site and river's greenbelt, as well as creating bamboo hubs all over the Pasig River system to help in cleaning the air and provide sustainable livelihood in nearby communities. 
A total of 15 sites were proposed by the PRCMO and numerous site inspections and coordination meetings have already been conducted to finalize or prioritize sites and to determine the bamboo species to be planted. In this regard, Estero de Pandacan was chosen to be the first implementation site, which we aim to start and complete in the second semester of 2021. With that being said, we at the PRCMO extend our gratitude to all our partners in the national and local governments, as well as the private and civil organizations who continuously help us in rehabilitating the Pasig River system. Together, we are stronger. Maraming salamat po. Puso para sa Ilog Pasig.